very much. I'm going to talk to you today about cell phones and health and what the latest science has to show. Let me uh, set the context for the morning and afternoon. I want to tell you it's a great honor for me to be here today and really a thrill because there are people in this room right now whom we all need to thank. And I want to say, Senator Mark Leno, I will ask you to stand, please because you have been so instrumental in working on this issue. And had the, had the foresight to recognize that when it comes to public policy, it's better to err on the side of preventing harm rather than proving danger. And we will have a further discussion about how the debate has often been framed as to do we have the body count yet? and how the debate has been about brain cancer. Do we have enough proof of brain cancer? That's the wrong question. We are conducting an experiment right now on all of ourselves and our children and my grandchildren. We're conducting an experiment precisely because we do not have data on safety. It never was obtained. And rather than debating whether we have definitive proof of harm, we should be asking, is there sufficient evidence to consider that prudent precautionary policies are appropriate. And I think after you hear our presentation today, you will say yes. I'm going to briefly talk to you about some of the experiments that have been done with human sperm. Sperm have the virtue of being readily available, and it takes about half a billion to make a healthy child. That's because you want the healthiest sperm to succeed in fertilizing the egg. These studies I'm going to show you took sperm from healthy men one test tube did not get exposed to cell phone radiation, and the other did. And what the results were were quite stunning. Firm exposed to cell phone radiation died three times faster, three times faster. And in terms of a measure of damage on their mitochondria, had three times more damage to the mitochondrial DNA, just from cell phone exposure. An observational study conducted by the Cleveland Clinic by Ashok Agarwal, a very distinguished expert in male health, has shown that men who keep cell phones in their pocket at that time for four hours a day have sperm count about half those who reported little use of cell phones. Now, I want to show you what's been diagnosed in Korea recently. Digital dementia has been diagnosed in children. It involves memory problems, difficulty handwriting, Difficulty looking you in the eye, difficulty developing empathy, and it's a diagnosed brain condition confirmed by MRI scans of these children. This is not some Saturday Night Live joke. This is the future of the brains of all, the world's children. The hemisphere of the brain, that the right hemisphere, which is what allows us to be empathic and to understand things, is underdeveloped. And it's such a concern that the Korean government has issued warnings. This is what Turkey has done, and we'll hear more about that shortly. Governor Aksoy Hussain of Samsung is launching a cell phone campaign, thanks to Professor Suleiman Kaplan, to give information to people about how to use phones safely. Belgium, the public health minister, has banned the sale of phones to children under the age of seven. And Australia has recently issued more advice as well. Toronto has limited Wi-Fi in public parks so far, and in the United States, a number of towns have issued proclamations of cell phone safety awareness. I think proclamations may be a route that one cannot object to, and it allows us to have campaigns to promote things like this. Save the girls. We are now, and you can get these materials from our website to share. This is to warn about the breast cancer risk, or Practice safe tech. Do it with wires. We, these are small cards that we're going to make available that you can hand to young parents to explain to them that device manufacturers advise keeping phones away. All of us care about children. So this is one of the things in our knowledge transfer toolkit that you can download from our website. And I really look forward to how we will be able to work together now to come up with practical things you can do we're not opposed to this technology. We just want you to be smart. It's really not a smartphone if it harms brain cells. So this is some of the simple advice. Use a speakerphone, use earpieces, and avoid using the phone in weak areas where the signal is weak because the phone has to work harder getting into you and your body. Thank you very much.